Pronombres possessivos, or possessive pronouns, are very similar to the possessive adjectives that we already have learned, except that possessive pronouns you get to use alone. So let me introduce them first, and then I'll show you some examples. So our first one is mío, or you have míos. Mío is mine, míos is mine, but when you have plural number of objects, like they're my pens versus they're, they're mine, um, or it is mine which would be singular, so it is my book. Uh, tuyo is yours, or tuyos are yours, plural. So tuyo, I can say, it is yours, it's your pen. And then tuyos, they are yours. Suyo, his or hers, suyos, plural of his or hers, so they have plural number of objects. Nuestro, or nuestra, or nuestros, or nuestras, you have four options here, are ours, whether you're talking about singular things, which would be nuestro or nuestra, or plural things, which would be nuestros y nuestras. Vuestro, for the Spain form, which I usually call y'all, just because I want to make sure that you know it's a different dialect. It's like ustedes, um, which would be in this box for Mexico and most of Latin America, but vuestro is for Spain. So vuestro, vuestra are your singular, when you have singular number of object, objects that are all y'alls. And then vuestros and vuestras, when you have plural number, number of objects that are all y'alls. Suyo and suyos, which you notice is the same as his or hers, is also theirs. So let me show you here some examples and the difference between possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. So possessive adjectives, you remember from a family chapter, if you're doing realidades in Spanish 1. Um, my cat, <laughs> which right here... I, already made a typo. It should be, whoops, let me go back. So it would be my cat is mi gato, his balloon, su globo, their aunt, su tia. Because if you remember, um, our possessive adjectives were me or mis, tu or tus, su or sus, and then it was the same as our possessive pronouns, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras. Same with the vuestro, vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, vuestras. And then again, su or sus. So remember the his and her and the theirs are the same, just like in our possessive pronouns. And remember the hard part about possessives, it doesn't matter how many people possess the object it matters how many objects there are. So even though there's more of us that have the same aunt, it's still singular because it's one aunt. So now with possessive pronouns, we've already been talking about what we own, etc. Or somebody spots a pen on the ground and says, is this yours? Because they already know, they're holding the pen, what you're talking about. You don't have to say, is this your pen? So if you just want to shorten it to, is this yours? That's when you get to say, es tuyo? And you don't have to put the noun there because you have your possessive pronoun to take its place so it's mine would be oh yeah es mio and don't forget your accents and then they are his son suyo so let's say you found some books and you're like oh i don't know who these are oh i know who they are um, i think they're bob's yeah they're his right so son suyo so you don't have to use a noun so you're gonna have your verb and your possessive pronoun in most situations and that's it so it's that simple give it a try they are his, and we're talking about the belts. It's mine. We're talking about the toothbrush, because you don't want to share a toothbrush. It's theirs, the dog, because multiple people usually own a dog. And they are ours, the cars. So we usually pause the video here, because I don't give you enough time to really think this through. So really try to pause the video and try it on your own. Look up the vocab if you need to, and look back at the previous slide if you need help remembering or if you didn't write down all the possessive pronouns. So if you haven't already, pause the video because here we go. Here's number one. So the belts. What are belts first of all? We have to know that. Los cinturones. So cinturones are masculine and plural. So they, we're going to say ellos, because we're talking about the belts. They, masculine and plural, are, son, 
And his, is it mio, tuyo, suyo, nuestro, vuestro, or suyo? It is the suyo. But how many belts do I have? More than one. So, suyos. Ellos son suyos. It's mine. Toothbrush. Toothbrush in, toothbrush in Spanish. El cepillo de dientes. Always go with the first word. So, el cepillo, masculine singular. And you want to say it is, which is just s, s. Mio, masculine, because it has the O, and singular, because there is no S. It's theirs. Again, we have it's, so we can put S. We're talking about the dog, which is perro. Same, masculine, singular. And I know you're going to want to say, oh, but it's plural, theirs. Oh, but excuse me, it's not mine, it's theirs. S, suyo. So I'll X that out. It's not mine, it's their dog. So S, suyo. And again... You want to say maybe that it's plural, suyos, because it's theirs, but no, it's always the object. There's one dog, so you say, it is theirs, es suyo. And they are ours. We're talking about cars, which are los coches. And they're masculine and plural, so we're going to say ellos, the cars, or los carros, son... And then ours, so nuestros, masculine and plural. So you probably noticed I haven't had any feminine examples. So we're going to do another slide here, and you can give mix a try. So let's give these a try. I'm going to give you some a little bit of time here, but you do need to pause the video so that you can really figure these out, especially if you need to look up some vocab. So the magazines are theirs, the pictures are yours, the book and the pen are his, and that's mine. We're talking about the computer. And notice I do have a noun in my sentence, and I had said previously you don't need a noun when you're doing your possessive pronouns, but really you don't need the noun afterwards is what happens. So if you say, hey, are these magazines yours? You're still going to say, um, son tuyos at the end. It's not going to be son tus. You have to put a noun always after when you have a adjective like tus or mis. So pause the video now if you need time, which I'm sure you do. So do pause the video. Right, the magazines are theirs. The magazines are... Sorry, I lost my pen. So the magazines, one second, let's try that again. The magazines, las revistas, are, son, and theirs, we know it's got to be a form of suyo, and it's feminine and plural, we know it's feminine because of the A at the end, revista, and then S, it's plural, revistas, so we're going to match it, suyas. Las revistas son suyas. And again, it doesn't matter if they're all guys that own the magazines because this matches the object. The pictures are yours. Careful, pictures are feminine because the real word is las fotografías, but we usually just say las fotos. So here you want to go by this, A-S, it's feminine. Son, and then tuyo, but it's feminine and plural, so tu yes. And even though you're one person, it's plural because pictures are plural. Las fotos son tuyas. The book and the pen are his. We've got two things here. So we've got the book, el libro, y, and you could say la pluma or el bolígrafo. I'm just going to say el boli. Are, son, his. So now how do we decide? Is it masculine, feminine, plural, singular? Well, it's plural because there's two objects. One, two. And then both of these happen to be masculine, which makes it easy. So suyos. If we did use la pluma instead of a bolígrafo, it would still be masculine because masculine always wins out. If there's one masculine thing in the group, it's got to be masculine. So son suyos. And then that's mine, the computer. If you know your demonstrative adjectives, that, this and these have T's, that and those don't, you would say S, and we have to think computer. What's computer? La computadora. 
which is feminine, la computadora. So it's going to be esa, esa, es, and then feminine again, mia. Esa es mia. So that is mine. Esa es mia. And that concludes our possessive pronouns. So remember, biggest thing with possessive pronouns, match the object, and you never have a noun after your possessive pronoun. Thank you for listening.